hi guys welcome back to my channel those of you who are new welcome this is a great big shout out for all the new subscribers and for everyone that is watching my videos today's video is going to be about this bad boy here well let's just jump into our video so those of you who have never used an eyelash curler or are new to the makeup world and doesn't know what an eyelash curler is this is what it is there's these two here that you put your fingers in and every time you open the, this area, the top opens. Every time it closes it, the top area closes it. There's no major difference. Both male and female can use an eyelash curler. And this is especially meant for people who has very tiny eyes and wants to open up their eyes. And it's also meant for people who has straight eyelashes and has the urge to curl their eyelashes. Most people nowadays wants to have very curled, beautiful eyelashes, which we don't have. But we can fake that and fix that problem by using an eyelash curler. And for those of you who have ever pinched your eyes before or are scared to just use the eyelash curler or have someone use the eyelash curler on you, you don't need to be scared because at the end of the day, this is what is going to make you look more beautiful. So I'm going to show you guys, first of all, the trick that I have in order for you to get the most perfect curled lashes. So we all probably has a blow dryer. Some big, some small. Mine is very small because I have a very little bit of hair on my head to blow dry. I don't usually even blow dry my hair anyways. What you do is you hold your eyelash curler in one hand and the blow dryer in the other hand and then you put on the blow dryer because you want to make this rubber area a little bit warm. This would set your eyelashes because when you put heat on your hair it naturally stays curled longer than when you, if you curl your hair with a curling iron the curls would actually stay a bit longer so it's going to be the same thing for your eyelashes. I'm going to just be Heating up the eyelash curler, not too hot, just warming it up a little bit. And I'm going to demonstrate for you guys. So here we go. From the time you feel the heat on your hands, then you know how hot it is. You can test it out because you don't really want it to burn your eyelashes. And it's warm enough. So now what you do is... You open your eyelash, your eyelash curler, then you put it over your eyes, as close as possible to your eyelid. You hold it down for 10 seconds, and then you release it. You go back in for the second time in the middle area of your eyelashes. And then you hold it down for 10 seconds and then you release it and then you go in back the last time at the very tip of your eyelashes you hold it down for like 10 seconds and then you release it and that is how easy it is to curl your eyelashes you can actually see how well curled this is. All the eyelashes is straight up. And now what you do is you go in with your mascara. So the mascara I'll be using is by Maybelline and it's called Lash Sensational. So you can go in with two coats or three coats depending on how thick you want your eyelashes to look and I'm just waiting for this to dry. In the meantime, I'm just going to tell you guys about this mascara. Whenever you have to use your mascara, you do not pump your a mascara to get the mascara onto the brush. You just take it gently out and if there is any type of extra stuff on the bristle you can just put it against the top area and just wipe it off this is going to make your eyelashes look clumpy 
You want it to look as naturally beautiful as possible. And now you just go back in with the second coat. And now you can put some at the under eyelashes. okay if you mess up your eye you just leave that there to dry and when you dry it then you can take a face wipe and wipe it do not wipe while your mascara is wet so we're just gonna wait on this to dry a little bit in the meantime I'm gonna be using some eyeliner and I'm just gonna be putting on some green eyeliner Right now, I'm, I am not wearing any eyeshadow of, or that sort because I just wanted to do this tutorial so that you would be able to have a good look at my eyes. Um, but actually, you would do this whole warming your eyelash curler and curling your eyelashes. When you are done putting on all your makeup, all your foundation, this is going to be one of your last steps. You don't really want to put it on and then you go in with your makeup because then you're going to have fallouts all over your eyelashes and that is just going to be chaos <laughs> that is just real chaos so this is actually the last step once you put on your eyeshadow your foundation your concealer and all that stuff then you go in with your eyelash curler followed by your mascara and if you are going to put on fake eyelashes then that is going to be the very last steps i am now going to be putting a third coat of my mascara on my eyes on the upper eyelashes when you put on three coats of mascara on your eyelashes you don't really need to be wearing fake eyelashes but some people just don't really have the time to be sitting and waiting for this to, to dry and then go in with the next coat. And now I'm just going in with a second coat on the under eyelashes. Remember, if there is any mistakes, do not wipe it off until the mascara is dried. And to make your eyes pop even more, there is one technique called tight lining where you can just put some eyeliner on the upper part of your eyelashes on the upper lid and I'm just going to wait until my eyes is dry and I'm going to show you guys how to do this technique so my mascara is dried already and I'm going to talk to you about the procedure called tight lining tight lining is basically lining your upper eyelid some people are very comfortable doing this while some people they will just leave it all but whenever you're wearing false false lashes i would suggest you do tight lining because it will make your false eyelashes blend in quite nicely to your natural lashes leaving no space in my way of doing it my technique is i would just lift my eyelid up like this you're going in with your pencil, you're just going in like this. You just you just try to look away from your eyes. And that's it. And then now we do the other eye. You just lift your eye eyelid a little bit. And you go in with your eye pen your eye pencil. And here we have it. This is what tight lining is. And now I'm just going to finish this look by putting on some eyeliner. So using a wipe, I'm just going to go at the top of my eyelid and just wipe gently all the dry mascara off.
Now I will be going in with this NYC eyeliner and this is the shade teal on the upper part of my eyelid. So this is the end of my video for today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is what the eyes look like. With the curled eyelashes, the tight lining, and using the blow dryer to get it very curled. Um, I hope you guys learned something from me for today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like it, share it, comment. And I am looking forward to hearing from you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, guys.